this video, I'm going to talk about modern theming within Power Apps model driven app. So I'm just focused on Power Apps model driven app, modern theme. Now, Power Apps model driven app can be themed using a classic look as well as a new look. Now, model driven app, if you have this new look enabled, then it is it will pick up modern theming. If new look is turned off, then it will pick up classic theming. Now, modern theme is applicable only for model driven app. Modern theme is applicable for the app which has new look enabled. However, the logo component is picked up from the classic theme. So I will show you in demonstration what do I mean. But the focus of this particular video is modern look, modern theming for only model driven app. Now, as you might have seen in my previous video, whereby I explained about the header component for Microsoft 365 and Power Platform based app. So what happens is like if you have an app like Microsoft 365, like office.com or Microsoft 365 admin center or a SharePoint site or Power Apps, make.powerapps interface, make.powerautomate interface, make.powerpages.microsoft.com interface. Anywhere, if you make a change in the theme, the header component changes everywhere. So if you make a change in Microsoft 365 Admin Center, all the theming of the header will be applicable across all this different application. However, there is one place which is model driven app, which will not change the header. OK, so model driven app will not respect the all the header changes for different apps like Microsoft 365 Power Apps or Power Pages or Power Automate. So if you want to apply, if you want to change the header component, then you need to do some different things. OK, now what you need to do is basically you need to create an XML file. Now, the XML file will contain this component. What it is, it is basically an app header color. It will have a background color for the header. It will have a foreground color for the header. Background hover and foreground hover. Background pressed, foreground pressed background selected, foreground selected. So if you put this color and if you create a site setting with an override app header color, then that will change the header component for all the model driven app with a new look within your specific environment. Now, the only downside is if you make that change, all the model driven app within that environment will have those header component changed. So basically, you need to create a solution. You need to create a web resource, and then you need to make some changes to the site setting. So let me show you an action first. Now, before I sh give you an example, let first let me explain it to you what happens. Okay. Now, in Microsoft 365, I have Microsoft 365 open. I have Admin Center open. I have uh, Microsoft 365 Admin Center open. I have admin.powerplatform.microsoft.com open. So SharePoint site open. Now, what, what I'm going to show you is like if I change, if I go to the settings over here and if I make a change to the theme. So take, for example, if I make this change, okay, so if I make this header change, then if I navigate to the admin center, if I navigate to the uh, home.powerass, Power Automate, and all this site or SharePoint site, let me refresh this site in bulk. Okay. Now see what happens. For I have made a change in the theme in office.com over here. Now if I go to admin center, it is changed. If I go to SharePoint, it is changed. If it is Say, take for example, uh, Power Pages, it is changed. For Power Automate, it is changed. And even for a Canvas interface, so this is like the Canvas authoring interface. So I'm just refreshing this page as well. Here also it is changed. The only place where it will not respect is the model driven app. So I have a model driven app over here. Let me refresh this model driven app. Now, if you see this model driven app, this header will remain as it is. It will remain that purple color, which is by default shown in Power Apps. And it is a new look. It is a modern interface. Then how can we make this header change? OK, for that, what we need to do is like when you read this article from Microsoft, use modern theme. How do you use a modern theme for a model driven app? So we are talking about a modern theme for a model driven app power apps. So what the documentation says is you need to 
create an XML file. Okay, so let's copy this XML file. Okay, let's copy this. Okay, and now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open Visual Studio and I'll call say new file and uh, this one is an XML file. So I'll create a new XML file and I'll call this as say I'm gonna put it in the desktop and here I will save it as Girish April theme. Okay, and this is like an XML file. So dot XML. So I'm just naming this file Girish April theme dot XML. You can name whatever you want, but it should be an XML file. And I'm gonna paste this. Now these are the various background colors, foreground colors, background hover, all these things we have just copied. We can change the color as in what we want. So we can change it to whatever color we want depending on our, our organizational theming. And once you are done with this, what you can do, you can just save this. Then let's navigate to make.powerapps.com. So this is that make.powerapps.com, which will respect this, uh, respect the change of theme header. Okay. So it, it is quite evident over here. What you need to do, go into the solutions and create a new solution. Make sure that you are in the right environment. So I'm in Kirish Dev environment, whatever environment you are in, and then create a new solution and I'll call it as April theme demo 2024. Select the publisher and click on create. So I've created a brand new solution and here I'm going to add a new web resource, more web resource. Now the web resource would be the one which I just saved. So this is Girish April theme dot XML. So we can name whatever we want. So I'll call it as Girish April theme. And I'll copy the same thing in the over here. Okay, I'll just click on save. Now a web resource has been created over here. See this web resource name. This is important. You need to copy this. Okay, get underscore Girish April theme. Now, what, how, how you can do that is like either just copy it or maybe you click on edit and then you can copy this web resource name because this is important for us to copy the reference when we add that site setting. Okay, so this we are going to add. Now, other thing what we need to add is like go to add existing and we need to add a setting. Okay, a setting we need to add. And here, let's type in override. So in override, we just say override app header color. So we said override app header colors. Click on next, it will add that override app header color, include keep all things default and it will add a setting. So I have a setting, I have a web resource. Now we need to tell the setting that point to this web resource. Now, if I click on edit over here, here, I need to type in setting environment value. So here, I will just remove whatever value it had and I'll just copy the one which is pointing to gear underscore. What is this? Gear underscore gearish April thing. And I'll click on save. The moment I do that, I'll just remove the stick mark and then I'll say publish all customization. So all my customization will get published now. So I have created a web resource XML file and I have a setting which is override app header color in that specific environment. So that's in the Girish dev environment. Now, if you see this model driven app, now it is taking theme from somewhere else. It is not even taking, picking up theme from the header of Microsoft 360 or Power Apps or it, it, it is not respecting anything. So how do we override this? For that, we are using this process. So we have published all the solutions. So the solution is getting published. Now here, once we refresh this, so I'm refreshing it, after the changes are effected, then we should be able to see the changes getting reflected over here. Now it's still publishing. Now the, if you read the documentation, the documentation says if you, if, if you apply this particular theme, it will turn into say green color. Okay, so it will look something like this. Okay, so that's what we are waiting for the result to see. Now, I think uh, it's still the publishing is happening. Now, all the pu customizations publishing is succeeded. Let's go into our model driven app and give it a hard refresh. So I'll do a control R or you can do, you, and once you do that, as you see over here, the 
header component has now changed okay so irrespective of anywhere you change say if you go to microsoft 365 or if you go to say power apps uh, and then if you change the theming components if you go to settings and if you change the theme to something here this will not impact this model driven app it will just pick up from that xml file what we have just created okay so this is that xml file uh, which we have just created now it will always respect that color so as you see over here it is now changed to green okay so this is the way through which you first create an xml file put whatever color you want so take for example you have put a background color as one two seven eight something right now i'll just make this change and i'll call this uh, i'll put number as say de uh, one two four five so some color okay and i'll make that change so i'll just make that change and again i will go back to my solution over here i'll go to the web resource i'll click on edit i will ask it to point it to the new one so i'll just point this and i'll save this and once it is done again i will do a publish all customization just to see if we make any change to the web resource component whether it is getting changed or not so now all the customizations are succeeded what we can do we can go into this app and i'll just give it a quick refresh so now as you see over here this color has now changed to the color which we have you know made those change in the xml file so this points to de1245 so this color is de1245 and that's how you basically change the header component now this is only applicable for the new look modern look enabled okay now what happens if you just take this off okay then what happens is like you are reverting back to the old look okay the old interface so i'll just turn this off and here now you see what happens now the header component changed to blue okay something else now from where this is coming in order to understand that if i go to setting if i go to advanced settings then that you will see something called as under settings customizations you will see themes and this header is coming from the theme so as you see over here blue theme is the default theme and that's why it is coming from there if i select an orange theme if i go into the orange theme and if i say publish the theme then you might see that the header has changed to orange theme and now if you go to that same model driven app which does not have a new look enabled if i just click refresh then what should happen is like the header should change accordingly okay so this is the classic look okay so if you want to make a change at the classic site then you need to use this old kind of an interface now in this old interface there is an option something to change the logo okay so as you see over here there is a theme name there is a logo over here now here we can set the logo of the uh, say whatever logo we want now the logo can be uploaded as a web resource so uh, you can have various web resources uploaded in the form of PNG or JPG file. Now, if you want to change the logo, now there are some sort of default theme which CRM has. Now, it is opened in read-only. So, you cannot change the read-only theme. What you can do, you can either create a new theme or use the existing custom theme. So, if I just navigate, I can see that I'm just navigating to different themes. So, I've already created a G theme over here, okay? So for that, what I can do, I can pick up the logo. If you see over here, this logo is enabled now. Now, if I just press enter, then I can pick various logos. Okay. Now, let me search for the logo which I have uh, uploaded. So let me search for GIR. Okay. And if I look for some more record. Now, this you need to do uh, well before you make any changes. Okay. So this I'll, I'll just put say there are some various logo which is coming from here i can do it a quick search i'll just refresh it i'll say girish okay if i search for girish or maybe gir or just g and here i should be able to see a whole bunch of list and there is something called as girish sign okay so i'll just pick up this girish sign and I'll just say add okay so now it has added girish sign and now what i'm going to do i'm going to click on publish theme so i'm now publishing a theme 
okay and it has picked up that theme now i've just set the logo for one specific theme now if i go into that model driven app and if i refresh it now you see that it has taken up that pink theme and it has picked up the logo as well okay now it has, see we are in the old interface now we are in the old theme now what we have done i'm just showing you how to add a logo in the old theme now if i turn this on what will happen it will pick up the modern theme so if i click on new look so it has picked up the modern theme which we have changed along with that now we can see logo as well so if you just understand what has happened so this is a modern interface this is a modern model driven app now in order to change the header we have created an xml file and we have uploaded the uh, solution with its site setting and it has applied those changes however the logo was not visible so in order to make a change in the logo what you need to do is you need to make take help of the classic theme and then within classic theme pick up any classic theme any custom classic theme and try to upload a logo in that and then switch back to the new look once you do that, you will see the logo appearing in your model driven app, which is of new look. So this is how you basically add a logo for a model driven app in the modern theming. So that's it, folks. This is all about customizing the header for a model driven app, which is of a new look and respecting the modern theme. Thanks for watching.